Now in the third question we have three column matrices. Q corresponds to quantity, P corresponds to the price of one unit that is price per unit and C corresponds to costs per unit right and the three items that we are talking about is hamburgers, cheeseburgers and milkshakes. Yummy. Right. So the same corresponds to each matrix. Right. Now what is TR? What is TR? Now TR is equal to price times quantity. So I can do that as so um, total revenue would be price times quantity of each types of type of item. So if I want price of hamburger to be multiplied by the quantity of hamburger price of cheeseburger to be multiplied by the quantity of cheeseburger and price of milkshake to be multiplied by quantity of milkshake I will need to put Q as a row vector that means I am multiplying Q dash or Q transpose with the column price matrix so that's Q, that's why I have written Q dash P that's 60, 45, 60 so if you see once again let me remind you that multiplication is always in this direction so that will be 1000 into 45 plus 600 into 60 plus 1200 into 50. So remember that my Q dash has now become a 1 cross 3 matrix. My price is a 3 cross 1 matrix and they are conformable. By conformable I mean they both can be multiplied because the number of rows the columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix and the resulting matrix I hope you remember will be a 1 cross 1 which is what we want to represent our total revenue. So my resulting total revenue value is 141,000. logic can be applied to find total costs it will be quantity multiplied by unit costs again since it's matrices you have to ensure that you arrange the matrix in such a way that multiplication is possible so the number of columns of the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix the term used is the matrices should be conformable okay so again like I did with total revenue I will make the quantity matrix into a row vector. So it's presented. I'm using Q dash or transpose of the original quantity vector, right? So that's Q transpose, and my cost matrix or C. I'm keeping it as a column vector. Thirty-eight. 42, 32, right, so what I will get is again a 1 cross 1 resultant which is 1000 into 38 plus plus 600 into 42 plus 1200 into 32. 
which is equal to a 1 cross 1 value of so the answer for that is 101,600 so as you can see this is my TR value this is my TC value and my profit oh I selected the green pen by mistake but anyways the profit is TR minus TC which is 1,401,600 which is equal to that you have to pay attention to the way you arrange the matrices so that the multiplication can happen successfully. Remember I can also multiply if you look at the if you look at the quantity and price matrices here if you look at the quantity and price matrices here I can also multiply Q with P transpose, right? So let me just write that here. If I multiply Q, I'm just writing this here, Q with P transpose, what I'll get is a 3 cross 1 matrix being multiplied by a 1 cross 3 matrix. So this is also confirmable because number of columns is equal to the number of rows but the resultant matrix that I will get is a 3 cross 3 matrix and this 3 cross 3 matrix does not make any economic sense right so you have to make sure that you are applying your basic economics common sense so that you will get a 1 cross 1 value for total revenue and similarly a 1 cross 1 value for your total costs right so arrange the matrices in that way that's all that you have to pay attention after that it's simple matrix multiplication in fact it is much simpler because you have only one row being multiplied by one column okay so I hope you have a test of class